on in hot pursuit back there. Uh, we are going down to Kilcare again and hopefully gonna win us some sportsmen racing. So yeah, we gotta get down there and we'll catch up with you when we get there. Alright guys, we are at the track. We got the car unloaded, getting some warm-up running. almost as high as it can go back there and then up here we were figuring out about 15 or so still getting all that foot in point all right guys while we're chilling here waiting for a minute I was looking at our settings and I ended up trickling in uh, one degrees of timing for between 4 and 5 RPM and 5 and 6 RPM. So that whole range, just one degrees. Um, I was debating on picking up the boost table because right now in first gear we're only running basically 15 pounds. Uh, and then it's 23 after that. So... I think I'm gonna keep that for right now because we're already trying to figure out a lot with me foot braking. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna run that. All right, guys, we're going up for our first time run. The lady's sticking the camera on the back. Does it look okay? Huh? Does it look okay? Does it feel like it's gonna fall off? No. Are you sure about that? up the data log and I seen all of this timing that it pulled for it to protect itself because it thought it seen knock and I my freaking heart sunk for a second uh, and then so I went through it 
Oh, what do we got? All our bar graphs. I'd have to find it again. But it's the burnout. Whenever I hit that rev limiter, it thinks it's knocking and it pulls all kinds of timing. So what that does mean is we get to keep our one degree of timing now. So possibly tinker with adding more. So looking pretty good. Okay, so I did a thing. I'm moving first gear up from 15 pounds to 18 pounds. Uh, I looked at the log and I launched right at like 3200 and it dead hooked and kind of bogged actually. So there's some room for improvement there. Assuming the track track prep stays decent. So, but the catch is, is that we're doing bracket racing and I just ran a 12.93, which I think was the last 12 we did was a 12.93. So I picked 13.0. Um, that way if I mess up, that it leaves me room to have like a small hiccup. Worst case scenario, just kind of let off the gas a little bit. Um, so I'm still, we're running quarter. So we're running quarter. So if I have to let off for that to win, I can do that. But I'll still run all out to the eighth. And then I can compare those times and see if I can make the car faster and maybe win this thing all at the same time. So that's the goal. Okay. We're up here for first round now. Ready to go. Had to sit around and wait for a minute, but we're here. Data logs going, car is ready to go. I'm ready to go. It cooled down a little bit. It's actually cloudy and the uh, sun isn't trying to kill me and everyone else, so that's nice. Right. Let's go. Let's do this. I 
know, I came flying back up on him. He must have, I don't know, had something totally go wrong. My reaction was 0.05. That's a lot better than the first run. Nice to have a zero something. This is current situation. It's raining. Not too hard, but enough to completely stop uh, production here. So, getting all the windows shut and whatnot. Things put away. All right, rain's passed. Cleaning her off. Throwing some air back in the tires, back in the game. All right, guys, we are going into round two. The goal is to have a good reaction time, not miss second. I'm only going to have so much luck, so we just got to have a good, clean run. And if it's really clean, I got to let off at the end because I'm probably going to run faster than what my number is. So I just got, I got to be on it and I got this. All right, about to go up there. myself I went to tap the brakes because I was ahead of them the whole time that I tapped I did a little more than tap them man that was a good run though Let's see what I ended up running oh it's dark in here Dang, I slowed down to a 13.5 with that little brake tap. Man. I should have just like let off and coasted, but hitting the brakes was too much. All right, so lessons learned with tapping brakes. Um, but in spite of that, here's our first ticket from the beginning of the day. We got a a solid 12.9 second run now this obviously i hit the brakes before i got to the end but we still can compare everything like up to the eighth mile and the reaction was still good decent um 0 0.05 the eighth i ran over here was eight well let's see 330 was 5.51 330 was five point three eight so that was definitely an improvement the eighth was eight point three six eight point two three so uh mile per hours or whatever yeah so um things learned um that's the first time i've ever actually had to really slow down usually something goes wrong and uh I have to try to play the catch-up game, so that was totally something new for me to do. Um, but
but we made the car faster. I still got some rounds. Nothing's broken, so sounds like a decent day still. Um, I think I'm going to wrap her up there, though. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a nice freaking day.